have adopted a pet before? Any of you? Okay, well that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, I want to hit on the main points of why it's important, um, other ways you can help out the dogs other than adoption, and how you can get into the process of starting your pet adoption. So first, I'm going to jump into why it is important to hit your local shelter before like a pet store or another place you can get a dog. Um, so there are many reasons why you should adopt rather than shop, obviously, but the main one that most of you already know probably is that you're saving a life. So um, according to the Humane Society, 2.7 million dogs and cats are euthanized in the U.S. alone due to a lack of adoptions which is a huge number and it's really sad and if you ever go like it makes me want to cry every time it's so sad and they just feel so unloved already because the shelters are all so crappy and it's just really sad so um so you're saving a life and um you're also opening up a spot in the shelter for another dog that might need it or cat um so there's other reasons than just like strays on the street that they find um, dogs that are being taken out of abusive homes are sent to the shelters. So there are other dogs always that need to be like gone through the shelter. And um, another main point is that you will save a bunch of money through adoption. Um, a lot of the dogs at like the pet stores and Petland, I don't even know if Petland is still a thing, but they're like five hundred dollars for just a dog. And like the shelter dogs, um, a lot of them take. Um, donations whenever you buy them. I know Unleashed in Kansas City does that, so it's just kind of whatever you're comfortable with spending that they will take that for the dog. And um, also, um, a lot of the dogs are up to date on their vaccinations, so that like takes out medical bills, and some of them come with the microchips, so like they get lost and they're already, you can already track them down. Um, and then also, um, a lot of the dogs, just because they are older already, they come house trained, so that's like a whole process that you don't even have to worry about through like whenever you get a puppy. Um, so if you aren't, um, a lot of people may not even be comfortable with bringing a dog or an animal into their home that has maybe been through some traumatic things because a lot of these animals have, they haven't been like given that love and they just don't know how to react to a new family. Um, is you can donate um, on uh, most of the, um, I'll show you in a second, most of the websites will have like what the shelters need right now. So I know Unleashed needs like blankets and beds and cleaning supplies. So that's a huge help that you can give to the people that work there and also to the dogs just because it'll make their experience in the shelter way more comfortable. Um, and then whenever you volunteer, um, they don't just give you like the dirty jobs of like cleaning the shelters, which can be pretty gross sometimes if they're not kept up, um, but they give you jobs like walking the dogs and just like playing with them. Um, a lot of the younger kids in my family, they uh, take pride in going to the shelters. I think it's so cool. The SPCA and Independence does a lot of volunteering um, and they just love going out there. The people at the shelter really appreciate it as well. Um, that's my dog. I recently adopted him where based on me. <laughs> that's your ball, my face. Um, but anyway, so um, you can look on their website. Um, I know Unleashed, they will show you like the dogs that they have right now and they'll like pick pets of the week. It's super cute. Um, but then you can also apply there. You do have to apply to adopt a dog. Um, it's just to see like your income, like what you can do for them, uh, just to like run like a background check basically just to make sure that all their pets do go to a safe home. And you can always give them a call. Like I know Warrensburg actually has a dog shelter that um, I went to not too long ago and they have so many dogs and you can even just like call ahead and be like, what kind of pets do you have right now? Like just to see if it's even something that you're looking for. Um, so let me show you their website because it's really cool. Um, so like right off the bat, they have like an adopt tab. So like and donate volunteers so like right off the bat you already can see what you're going to look for and then they have like all their dogs down here and they're just so cute and they just like home so and if you're moving out of the dorms anytime soon <laughs> go adopt the dog um so just in conclusion um from adopting a new pet to volunteering um you're helping so much and all these dogs even though like some of them may have anxiety or are scared of the vacuum whatever like they just need so much love and they have so much to give because so many of them have never been treated the way they should 
and I just think it's really important. So I hope that through the information of learning about how many dogs are put down and just all the other things you can do 